So first faction up, we got the cleaners. These guys are the flamethrowing masters. They got they got a flamethrower and everything. And they also got like a little incinerary drone. They go like what? And it goes and lays down a, a line of fire that if you step on, you take damage. So we got the ultra, the flamethrower. Then we got the incinerary drone. It goes and just blows up. And if you guys are in the way of that drone, it will kill you. Stay away from drones. It will cut you up and it will little burn you alive. And we got firebomb. We got the boom. And it just freaking blows up and it kills everybody within, I don't know what the meter is on the radius, but it just kills everybody. They say it's a Molotov cocktail. I don't believe it. It looks like a grenade from freaking Apex Legends. And then we got the passive, the incinerary round. So that's what kind of makes this class good. So when you're shooting someone, they'll catch on fire. And it'll take six points of damage over two seconds. So you get tick, tick, tick. And then that's it. And then it won't reset until another 15 seconds, I think it is, on it. Next up, we got the Phantoms. We got the Tryhards. We got the guys who want more HP because they suck at the game. These guys play these guys. They go off in the game. The Phantom, like I said, gets extra health in the game. I hope you guys heard me. It gets extra help in the game with health. Then you got your Blitz Shield. No one really uses this unless you guys are using Escort. It's kind of like a shield bash thing, but if you shoot at it, it the bullets don't go through. It's kind of all, all messed up. Then we got the mag barrier. So this is the one that everyone runs. You shoot that puppy down. Ain't no bullets getting through that. It takes a long time to shoot that thing down. It takes like six clips. It's like. Brruh, brruh, and it don't go down. So good luck trying to fight someone behind a mag barrier. Unless you got multiple teammates and you guys could take it out pretty easy. And then you got their ultra. It's like a bubble. Bleep, covers them completely. It's like the mag barrier, but like 360. You guys can't shoot through that. Unless you have multiple people. You got to unload like 15 mags into that freaking barrier in order to get it to freaking go away. So that's the Phantoms. And then we got the Libertard. Libertad. <laughs> we got the Libertad. So this one are the healers in the game. So this one's got a passive trait. It heals them over time. And then you got the El Remedio. I think that's how you say it. El Remedio. You throw a gas canister, and basically it heals your teammates within a radius. It's not not too good. And then you got the BioVita booster. This one, it's like a little can. You open it up like Coca-Cola. You know what I mean? <coughs> Ching! And it heals everyone around within a radius. Honestly, I think they're like kind of the two same things as far as concept goes on that. And then you got your his the ultimate. It's where you go, you go like this. You go, yeah. And you throw down an ultimate. It buffs everyone's HP in the area for like within a 15 meter radius to like 200 HP. You ain't killing no one in that circle. I'll tell you that much. I can't tell you how many times they throw it down. Ping, and I'm shooting at them. Unload like two mags in them. And they still ain't dying. Their health recovery is like, like that. You shoot them while you're reloading. Boom. They're already back up to 200 HP. So this one's kind of broken. And then we got the Echelon. We got the hackers of the game, okay? They got a low, low profile passive trait. They don't appear on the mini map at all, regardless of whatever they're doing. They could be shooting up in the air. No one's gonna see it on the mini map. Then we got the Intel suit. This one is the wall hacks. This one you can see people through walls within a certain radius. Makes it super super broken. Then you got the digital ghillie suit. This guy makes them invisible. Completely invisible. It's absolutely insane. Why? Why would you make someone invisible in the game? Well, I'm just, I'm just playing. So they're like, they, they, they're kind of visible in there, but it's not like too crazy. And then we got the sonar goggles. Going dark. You know what I mean? You get a five seven pistol. That thing is like one shot kill to the chest. Definitely one shot kill to the head. And then I think it's like two shot kill. Anything below the waist. So any leg shots or anything like that. Becomes two shot kill. And then we got dead sec. Okay. So dead sec. Is the class. And the faction. That everyone hates. 
I hope you like spider bots. Yeah, that one. Okay, they throw it on a spider. It goes, and then it gets on your face. And the only way to get it is if you look down and you shoot at the ground. That's the only way that you're going to be able to get this thing off of you. It's so annoying. It's irritating. And then sometimes it, like, runs up to you, and then it just, like, shocks you like RTD2. And then you're screwed. And then it's like you're trying to look around like, oh, my God, I can't shoot anyone. It's it's ridiculous. And then you got hijack on dead sec. And this one basically hijacks, like, the wall barrier. It's like you can press that ability. And it'll hijack that wall barrier, so now it's yours. What's cool about this one, though, is that it does have a passive trait, which I think is pretty cool for all you guys who like throwing freaking grenades all the time. So whenever you throw a grenade, it passively recharges that grenade. So you guys can have infinite amount of grenades no matter what. You could chuck it, and then it's like 15 seconds later, you got another grenade. Then you could chuck that one, and then it's the same thing. And then you got their ultra lockout completely takes away all the abilities and ultras that everyone else is using in the match so you can't do nada except throw grenades that's it you can't use any abilities or anything like that whenever they hit their ultra on this one so now that we got through all that mumbo jumbo i'm going to talk about what my top three factions are in this game so in third we're going to go with cleaners now cleaners like i said they're going to clear out the point they're going to throw that little boom that little grenade, clear it out on Occupy and Domination, whatever the heck you're playing. And then in second, we got Echelon. Echelon, because of the wall hacks. You guys can see people around corners, see people running up on you. You guys can secure the site, things like that. And you got that little one-shot pistol. Get them. And then number one, we got Phantoms. Now, Phantoms is number one. I don't want no hate. But Phantoms are number one because of the HP boost. It gives you that ability to go, run, slide around a corner. Even though they shoot you like four times, guess what? You're still at 100 HP. Then you just lay them out. Boom, 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 boom. Lay them out. And they're done. The HP boost is completely broken on it. The mag barrier is completely broken. That's my number one faction in X Defiant right now. And everyone's playing it. It's really good. And it's really fun to play. So that pretty much sums up all the factions in X Defiant. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. And also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I got more content coming soon on this game. All right? Don't forget it. But again, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.